Davao de Oro. Good morning, Z Escuela listeners, especially to all grade 3 kids out there listening right now from the different parts of Davao de Oro. I am your science teacher for today, Teacher Cherry from Compostela Central Elementary School Sped Center. Together with my partner, Ma'am Jonalyn Diliray from Anibungan Elementary School of Mako. Welcome to another exciting lesson in science. It's a great day to learn, kids. Are you ready? Yay! Yay! Come, join with us as we explore Human Sense Organ. Hello, kids! I am delighted to be with you again for 45 minutes of exciting lessons in science. We have interesting topic today. So I hope everyone is ready. I hope you already have your modules with you, your ball pens, your notebooks, and of course, look for a place where you find comfortable. Okay kids, this morning, we are going to discuss the parts and functions of the sense organ of the human body and for practice, healthy habits in taking care of it. But before we proceed, let me ask you first, how was your Christmas and New Year celebration? Have you tasted different kinds of foods? Yes, teacher. So, have you heard loud bangs of fireworks? Mmm! How about, have you feel the warm hugs and kisses of your parents? Wow! Now, have you smelled the delicious meals prepared by your mama and papa in your kitchen? Have you seen different colors of lights in each houses and streets? Yes, teacher. Perfect! The organs that you use in tasting foods, hearing different sounds, feeling of warm hugs and kisses, Smelling the aroma of your foods and seeing different kinds of colors are your sense organs. Are you excited to know more about your sense organ? Now, let's begin! Kids! Let us try first on how far you know about human sense organ. I want you to open your modules on page 4 on what I know. Have you seen colorful pictures there? Yes, teacher. Awesome! I want you to fill in the table below by identifying the characteristic of each sense organ. Again, I want you to fill in the table below by identifying the characteristic of each sense organ. Number one is done for you. The object is salt. Have you tasted salt before? Yes, teacher. Yay! So, its characteristic is salty. And the organ you use to taste the salt is your tongue. Now, it's your turn to answer number two to five. Do this in your notebook. Our picture number two is trash bin. What is the characteristic of a trash bin? And what is the sense organ used in trash bin? Our 
Picture number three is a cake. What is the characteristic of a cake? And what is the sense organ used in a cake? Our fourth picture is an eyes. What is the characteristic of an eyes? And what is the sense organ used in eyes? Our fifth picture is a rainbow. What is a characteristic of rainbow? And what is the sense organ used in the rainbow? Our last object is a drum. What is the characteristic of a drum? And what is the sense organ used in a drum? Take your time, kids! You can now start answering. Are you through? Yes, teacher. Don't worry if you don't get all numbers right because this morning, we will further discuss the human sense organ. What are the human sense organs? So we have five sense organs, namely the eyes, the ears, the nose, the tongue, and the skin. Each of these five sense organs has different functions. Now, I want you to look for the box on the page 6 of your module. Our eyes is used for seeing. Our ears is used for hearing. We hear with our ears. Our nose is used for smelling. Our tongue is used for tasting. Our skin is used for feeling and touching. We feel and touch using our skin. Again, your eyes for seeing, your ears for hearing, your nose for smelling, your tongue for tasting, and your skin for touching and feeling. Did you get it right, kids? Awesome! Now, I want you to open your modules on page 8. I will read it to you first the poem and after that, we will read it together. Okay? Yes, teacher. So, the title of the poem is Give Me Five by Velka B. Taganahan. Five senses I am grateful for. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. One, my eyes for seeing. Beauty of nature and human being. Two, my ears for hearing. Buzzing bees and bells ringing. Three, 
my nose for smelling. Fragrance of flowers worth inhaling. Four, my tongue for tasting. The sense that tastes sweet and savory. Five, skin for touching and feeling. Feel the cold and warm embracing. All right. Can we do it now together, kids? Okay, so let's start. Give Me Five by Vielka B. Taganahan Five senses I am grateful for. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. One. My eyes for seeing Beauty of nature and human being Two My ears for hearing Buzzing bees and bells ringing Three My nose for smelling Fragrance of flowers worth inhaling Four, my tongue for tasting The scents that taste sweet and savory Five, skin for touching and feeling Feel the cold and warm embracing Perfect! You are indeed a good reader, kids! Now let us continue our fun with some activities in your mojo. I want you to open your mojos on page 9. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Very good. So, for your activity, analyze the pictures below and choose the correct function of each sense organ. Again, analyze the pictures below and choose the correct function of each sense organ. The answers are all written in the box below. The answers are seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and feeling. Do this in your notebook. Hello kids! Are you done? Wait! There's more! Now, for your next activity, open your modules on page 12. I want you to complete the table below. You identify the name of each sense organ and describe its function. Do this in your notebook. Again, you complete the table below by naming each organ and write its function. Are you ready? Perfect! So we will pause for a break to give you time to answer your activity. Don't go away kids! We will be right back after this short commercial breaks. See ya! The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated Maverick Builders Incorporated Mitch Construction and Supply Arkikon's Architectural Construction and Supply DB Construction and Supply Hanawai Builders Corporation Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station Master Construction and Supplies Mackenzie Builders GP and H Construction Incorporated Metro Gear Construction Corporation NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated We Inc. Construction Company 
Rangay Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Hello kids! I'm back! Are you done with your activity? Amazing! You really love our topic today, kids! For this moment, we will discuss on how to take care of your sense organs. You have learned that our sense organs are very important parts of our human body. And each sense organ does specific functions to help us better understand our surroundings. So, we must take special care for them. One must practice healthy habits to keep them free from diseases by keeping them clean at all times and by eating balanced diet. Look at the pictures on your modules on page 13. On what can you see? They are kids taking care of their sense organs. What is the kid doing in the first picture? Yes, this kid is taking care of his eyes by wearing sunglasses to protect it from dust and from directly looking at the heat of the sun. Do you do this at home? Yes, teacher! Awesome! So the first picture is a kid wearing sunglasses. Now, how about the second picture? What is the kid doing in the second picture? Very good! She is brushing her teeth to prevent it from tooth decay. When is the right time to brush your teeth? Uh-huh, you brush your teeth every after meals. How about this kid in the third picture? What is he doing? Of course, the kid is taking a bath to cleanse his body from the dirt and dust outside and to prevent your skin from infections. Do you take a bath every day? Yes, teacher! All right! And for our last picture, what is he doing? Perfect! This kid is washing his hand to wash away the dirt he is holding the whole day. This may prevent the dirt to transfer to your sense organs once you touch it. Especially nowadays that we are in the middle of the pandemic coronavirus or the COVID-19. We should wash our hand with soap every now and then and we should always carry alcohol wherever we may go. All right, kids! Yes, teacher! Yay! So, do you want some activity? Yay! Awesome! Now, I want you to open your modules on page 14. Are you there? Yes, teacher! Have you seen the dialogue between Ven, Ara, and their mother? Now, I want you to write and copy in your notebook the phrases or sentences that tell healthy habits in taking care of your sense organ. Again, write and copy in your notebook the phrases and sentences that tells 
healthy habits and taking care of your sense organ. Are you ready? Yes, teacher! So let's start! Then, Ara and their mother are talking with one another. Good morning, Ben and Ara. Would you like to eat your breakfast? Yes, Mama. Mama, I would not. My eyes hurt. Oh, let me see it. Something is not right. We have to see a doctor. Oh dear, I am always reminding you to take care of your body. Healthy habits for our senses. We should not read in dim light or watch television in a close distance. We should wear sunglasses during sunny days. We take care of our ears by cleaning them regularly. We should be careful not to prick them with any objects. We must take a bath and clean our hands to protect our skin. We also brush our teeth and clean our tongue after eating. And do not forget to drink plenty of water, have enough sleep, and eat nutritious food. You are right, Mama! Yes, you are right, Mama! It is important to remember and practice those healthy habits when and ara. Are you through? Yes, teacher! Perfect! Now let us try more activity. Open your modules on page 15. I want you to draw a happy face if the statement shows proper way of taking care of sense organ and a sad face if it is not. Again, I want you to draw a happy face if the statement shows proper way of taking care of your sense organ and a sad face if it is not. Do this in your notebook. Number 1. Wash the eyes with clean and fresh water every day. Again, wash the eyes with clean and fresh water every day. Number 2. Clean the nose with sharp and pointed objects. Again, Clean the nose with sharp and pointed objects. Number 3. Avoid direct sunlight on the skin. Number 3. Avoid direct sunlight on the skin. Number 4. Clean your tongue regularly with a smooth cleaner. Again, clean your tongue regularly with a smooth cleaner. And number five, listen to loud music for a long period of time. Again, listen to loud music for a long period of time. Start answering, kids! Alright, kids! Are you having fun now? Hey! There's more! Now let's proceed to what's more on page 16. Our first activity is called loop the word. The direction, loop and encircle the following words listed below. The words are eyes, ears, nose, tongue, 
and skin. You can go horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. Once more, loop and encircle the following words listed below. You can go horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. The words are eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. Do this in your notebook. Are you done now? Perfect! Now let's proceed to our activity 2, which is true or false. I want you to write true if the function of each sense organ is correct and false if it is not. Again, write true if the function of each sense organ is correct and false if it is not. Do this in your notebook. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. So here is number one. We use our tongue to tell whether the food is sweet, sour, bitter, or salty. Again, we use our tongue to tell whether the food is sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. Number 2 Through our skin, we can feel and touch objects. Again, through our skin, we can feel and touch objects. Number three, by using our nose, we can tell when things have good and bad odor. Again, number three, by using our nose, we can tell when things have good and bad odor. For our number four, through our eyes, we can tell if the sounds of an object is loud or soft. Again, through our eyes, we can tell if the sound of an object is loud or soft. And the last number, number 5. We can name color because of our eyes. Again, we can name color because of our eyes. So we will pause for a while to give you time to answer your activity. Don't go away, kids! We will be right back after these short commercial breaks. See ya! The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation. Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP&H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Hello, kids! 
Are you still in there? Yes, teacher. Having so much fun now? Very good! Now, we will read the important lessons we have discussed today. Open your modules on page 18 on what I have learned. I will read it to you first, and after that, we will read it all together. Okay? So let's start. We have five sense organs, namely eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. We use our eyes to see objects around us. We can tell the size, color, and shape of things. We use our ears to hear sounds around us. We can tell whether the sound is loud or soft. We use our nose to smell odor. We can tell if it is bad or good odor. We use our tongue to taste food. We can tell if the food is sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. We use our skin to feel and touch. We can say whether it is hot or cold. It is important to know how to protect our sense organs. We must practice healthy habits to keep them free from diseases by keeping them clean at all times and eating nutritious food. It's your time, kids! So let us read together what we have learned today. We have five sense organs, namely eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. We use our eyes to see objects around us. We can tell the size, color, and shape of things. We use our ears to hear sounds around us. We can tell whether the sound is loud or soft. We use our nose to smell odor. We can tell if it is bad or good odor. We use our tongue to taste food. We can tell if the food is sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. We use our skin to feel and touch. We can say whether it is hot or cold. It is important to know how to protect our sense organs. We must practice healthy habits to keep them free from diseases by keeping them clean at all times and by eating nutritious food. Perfect! You are indeed a good reader, kids! Now, let's have first another activity to know more if you understand very well our topic today. Open your modules on page 19 on what I can do. I want you to fill the blanks to identify the correct sense organ used in each situation. Once more, 
fill in the blanks to identify the correct sense organ used in each situation. Do this in your notebook. Number 1. We use the sense organ to taste food. It helps us identify flavor. The answer has six letters and starts with letter T and the third letter of the word is N. Again, we use the sense organ to taste food. It helps us identify flavor. The answer has six letters and starts with letter T and the third letter of the word is N. Number 2. We use this sense organ to smell fragrance of flowers. The answer has four letters and the second letter is O. Again, we use the sense organ to smell fragrance of flowers. The answer has four letters and the second letter is O. Number three. We use the sense organs to hear the buzzing bees and loud sounds of drum. The answer has four letters and the third letter is R. Again, we use the sense organs to hear the buzzing bees and loud sounds of drum. The answer has four letters and the third letter is R. Number four. We use these sense organs to see the colorful rainbow. The answer has four letters and the first letter is E. Again, we use these sense organs to use the colorful rainbow. The answer has four letters and the first letter is E. And for number five, we use the sense organ to feel cold air and touch of a soft pillow. It also has four letters and the second letter is K. Once more, we use the sense organ to feel cold air and touch a soft pillow. It also has four letters and the second letter is K. You can now start answering kids! Are you done now? Yes, teacher! Wow! Amazing! Cause, it's assessment time! We are almost done with our lesson today. So I want you to open your modules on page 20. So here is the instruction of your assessment. Analyze each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Again, analyze each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Do this in your notebook. Are you ready? Yes, teacher! Okay, so here is number one. Bong, a grade 3 pupil, was having a hard time identifying colors. What sense organ will you use to help him? Again, Bong, 
a grade 3 pupil was having a hard time identifying colors. What sense organ will you use to help him? A. Eyes B. Nose C. Skin and D. Tongue Again, A. Eyes B. Nose C. Skin and D. Tongue Number 2 We use the sense organ to compare the smell of flowers in the garden. What is the sense organ called? Again, we use the sense organ to compare the smell of flowers in the garden. What is this sense organ called? A. Ear B. Nose C. Skin and D. Tongue Number 3 What sense organ helps you taste food and identify whether it is sweet, sour, salty, or bitter? Again, what sense organ helps you taste food and identify whether it is sweet, sour, salty, or bitter? A. Ears B. Eyes C. Nose and D. Tongue Number 4 Anna is listening to music while eating her breakfast. What sense organs is she using? Again, Anna is listening to music while eating her breakfast. What sense organ is she using? A. Ears and eyes B. Ears and tongue. C. Tongue and nose. And D. None of the above. Again. A. Ears and eyes. B. Ears and tongue. C. Tongue and nose and D none of the above. And the last number you will feel hotness when you are exposed under the heat of the sun for an hour. What helps you feel it? Again, you will feel hotness when you are exposed under the heat of the sun for an hour. What helps you feel it? A. Ears B. Eyes C. Nose and D. Skin. Then A. Ears. B. Eyes. C. 
E, nose, and D, skin. Take your time, kids. You can now start answering the questions. Yay! We are now done, kids. For your assignment, I want you to continue answering the activity on your modules on page 21 on additional activity. Look for a picture that shows healthy habits and taking care of your sense organs. Paste it in your notebook and in two to three sentences, describe the picture on how they take care of your sense organ. Okay? A teacher in charge will be collecting your modules as well as your answers on your notebook. We will answer that next meeting. And don't miss our School on Air in Science 3 because we will have a lot of exciting fun discoveries to make. I hope you learned a lot today, kids. We will see you again next meeting. This is your teacher on air, Teacher Cherry Rose D. Montero of Compostela Central Elementary School Sped Center. Together with my partner, Teacher Jonalyn D. Liray of Anibungan Elementary School of Mako. Nanaksa sabing. Dito sa DepEd Davao de Oro Radio Z Escuela, siguradong masaya! Here at 88.5 Z Radio Station, siguradong lingaw, siguradong kuyaw! Hanggang sa muli mga bata, paalam! Radio Z Escuela Executive Committee the school's division superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Sasso 5. Assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan. OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco. School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Roben J. Riponte. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. Dr. Eldicris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medar T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land T. U. Donna D. T. Bolifer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banias Social Media and Packaging Team Christian Anhara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acosar Jr., May B. Estanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Glee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Araiz.